Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso and SABC3. And this is a moment that I've been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. If you look around me, there are consoles all over the place. And this is <laughs> the moment that you've been waiting for. It is a moment where we are about to unbox something. And it's not just anything. We're just a few days away from the release of the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. Amongst the highly anticipated tech releases of the year. And we've got the inside scoop right here on Expresso with one man. One desire, one talent, well, many of them. But today, his talent for gaming will show you through. This man is about to unbox for the first time on South African television, the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. So please welcome Grant Hines. Are you ready, sir? I, I, woo! I'm so excited. This, yes. is, this is probably the most exciting time in video games for us as gamers when a new console gets released. And that's what everybody's talking about on like social media. I know there's the election stuff, but what we're all talking yeah. about is like, who PlayStation 5. Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, like which one should I get? What are the consoles about? And a lot of people who are new to the conversation, there might be a lot of people out there at home who are going like, there's a new console this year in 2020? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's, a, it's a little bit like out there. So what I would like to do at this time is yes. give a, a few people as to what the new consoles are about. As, right now we're gonna focus on the Xbox, uh, both of these units, because they released two consoles. I think it's, it's nice and bold, but I think that each one has its merits. Each one has its purpose, I suppose. Yeah, we've been but, talking a lot yes, off camera. We, we have about each one, and I must just tell you about the, uh, you know, the amount of tech that goes into here. But I think that the first one is small and cute. The other one's a bit bigger and really powerful. But I think let's start off with, can we go through some of the differences just to focus on Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S? Okay, so firstly, when a new console comes out, the graphics are improved remarkably. Yeah. We're looking at when, when you get the Series X, you're looking at 4K, 120 frames a second. Most people don't really know what that means. Most people think, okay, 4K is a big deal. But the 120 FPS marker, literally when they announced it, I got out of my chair at home. I'm a real nerd. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> but when, don't be sorry. But, but when, when, when they announced 120 frames a second, I was like, Consoles are finally meeting the upper echelon of video games. Yeah. But the problem is that most people don't have TVs that support 120 FPS. So people might be buying the highest end and not really seeing the best. The bottleneck of their system is going to be the TV. So wow. you want to have that high frame rate so that you get frames faster than your opponents. You're playing Call of Duty or you're playing Fortnite and you want to compete with these people. But also just like racing games, like we're playing Forza Horizon 4. This game is, I'm, I'm just showing you some of the graphics now, just to show you how incredible it is. The light and refracting off the cars. It's, it's a new, let me, let's have a look at the wheels. Let me zoom into the wheels. That's all light refracting from what? the environment around it. These are brand new what? graphics cards in these things. Look, so it's, it really is spectacular. Spectacular in, in its. Uh, let's race. Let's just get into the race. Um, but between the two consoles, why are there two consoles? Yeah. So the Xbox Series S is a smaller version, as you can see. Um, Actually, let me let me sit down here. I want to show you guys. Okay. <laughs> this is the Xbox. This is the Xbox One. Right? Yes, yes. So this is the okay. one that came out last generation. That's my Xbox 360. That was on Expresso many many years ago when we had it. That now is generations old. This is the brand new Xbox Series S. Look at the size comparison between all of these. This is. 2K, not 4K. All right. So if you don't have a 4K TV, you're still going to get some of the benefits. 2K, 120 FPS. I mean, to get a gaming PC at this price range is just bonkers. And it's got half a terabyte of storage. That might be a problem for some people. Yeah. And the biggest notable difference is that there's no disk drive on the front. You can see on the Series X, there's a disk drive on the front of the console. And because there's no disk drive, you're going like, how do I play games? You need a good internet connection. Yeah, that's, that's actually the one that really stood out for me because I know we're in South Africa and internet connection can be a big struggle for the Xbox Series S. So that's why I, I actually wanted to, to run this by you in terms of the price range. So, uh, you know, obviously this one is a bit more upper, you know, the upper echelons than that particular one over there. But if I look at 120 FPS, that means that if you got, just got a Fortnite, you, you're an online gamer, yeah. this one would be perfect for you. Oh, 100%. And if you've got a good internet fiber connection or something, this is the one that you want to get. But if you want to future-proof yourself, the Series X is the better one. The Series S, oh, 
You know, uh, oncoming traffic. I failed I my K53 four times. Four times. He just On said, the fifth time I passed. It was into oncoming traffic. That is <laughs> wow. But you know the great thing about the oncoming traffic is the oncoming graphics. That's what it, that's what that's what we were focusing on with regard to the console. So let's have that's a look. All. Um, and just to give you an idea of how, like, inside the cockpit, look at the rear view mirror. You can see the, tra the cars behind. I can, I'm look, I'm, I should be looking on the road, but it, it doesn't you matter. Can see we, the cars we're behind you. On the, the specs. And then, if we want to see the bonnet, I like putting it down here so you can see just how fast we are able to go. And just how important many frames make when you are playing a video game. The more frames, the more immersed you are in the experience. It's more like real life. There are no frames in real life. <laughs> like, it's, it happens at you. And the more frames you get on a TV, the more real to life it actually is. Well, I mean, this is a, it's, a, it's a TV first for the Xbox Series X and the Xbox oh! Series S as well. As you can see, it's gaming pleasure. The FPS rate is phenomenal if you want to be one of those individuals who, who just want to be competitive in the online gaming space. Either way, it is a device that is going to come up against a PS5 very, very soon. And I think that's actually a very, very good question to ask you. So if you want to respond, please, please feel free. But, uh, you know, when it comes to the Xbox Series S versus the Xbox Series X, which one is your favorite? You let me know. Hashtag Expresso Show as we get through what is the excitement of the Xbox Series X for the first time in SA television. I, I'm actually losing my mind. I, Look, I, I, I am too, but I just messed up this car. Look how badly I've messed up this car in the game. And, and, <laughs> Even the paint scratches. Either way, here is the first with Grant. So go check it out when you've got some time. And over to some social media, we asked you about how you're going to escape with SABC3. What's your answer?